All right, so as promised, um, we're here again to talk about some recipes this week. Um, just some different stuff you can make using your ingredients um, from the last video. And um, I've actually got a lot going on today, so I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible. Um, I made a little slideshow of just what I've eaten throughout the week. Um, and you'll see a lot of things, you know, I make them bulk and just have it, you know, for dinner one night and then lunch the next day. And it's just a really easy way, you know, to be eating healthy without having to put a lot of work into it. Um, I'm not going to explain all of them. Um, I'm going to talk about some other stuff. But um, I actually made up a document on Facebook that has all the recipes and the calorie counts for everything that you see. So if you head on over to my Facebook page, um, you'll see the document there. And make sure you friend request me. Um, and, you know, you can, you can check it all out there. So, so here we go. So what I really want to talk about is, um, you know, having a diet versus being on a diet. Um, I eat healthy foods because I like them and I like how they make me feel. And, you know, I, I know that I'm getting the energy that I need to get me through my workouts. Um, you know, that's really what drives me to eat the way that I do is because I view, I view food as fuel. That's a tongue twister for you. Um, but you know, to be totally honest, like my eating is not perfect by any means. I have always loved chocolate. I always will love chocolate. Um, and you know, so I'm not going to stop eating chocolate just because I'm trying, you know, to be skinny, right? That's ridiculous. So, you know, what I do is I plan to have chocolate. Um, so, you know, whether it's after lunch or after dinner or whatever, um, but I'm able to do that because I track my calories using my fitness pal on my phone. So everything that I eat goes in there. And so I can save myself like an extra hundred calories or so, like, you know, already knowing that at some point during the day, I'm going to want chips or chocolate or whatever it may be, but it's okay because, you know, I've, I've already planned for that. Right. So, you know, you really don't want to be depriving yourself of those things because it's only going to want make you want it even more um and you know it's just it's going to end up causing a lot of problems for you because when you end up getting talked into going to cold stone like you go in with this crazy mind game with yourself and like you know oh should i get this or what should i do and you know everybody knows in the end you end up getting the biggest cup of ice cream they have because you tell yourself well you know if I'm gonna ruin my diet I'm gonna go all out everybody's done it I've done it you know I, I don't do it as much anymore because I've trained myself not to but it, it really doesn't have to be that way I mean like when I crave cookies or cake or whatever I I eat them but it's because I understand that I can have one or two cookies and go on about my day and, you know, if I want them again tomorrow or next week or whenever it may be, I don't have that anxiety of, you know, feeling like, oh, my God, this is going to be the last time I ever eat cookies in my whole life. So I have to eat 20 of them, you know, to make up for it. Like, no, it, it, that's, that's just setting yourself up for failure. And, you know, another thing that you start to learn as you learn more about food and nutrition and, you know, what it really does for you, um, you, you really do start thinking of food as fuel and, you know, like fried chicken does not even appeal to me anymore. Um, that is such a random example, but I don't even want to eat it because, you know, I look at it and I just, I, I feel the feeling of that like greasy brick in my stomach and it just makes me not want to eat it. So, you know, it does take work, you know, when you're first starting out, but it, it becomes a habit. Every, everything in life becomes a habit if you do it enough and then you don't even have to think about it anymore which is the greatest part um, and honestly I don't spend more than like 10 minutes a day planning out my food because it's just ingrained in me you know it's just part of my routine and it's what I do every day it's it's as easy for me as brushing my teeth you know it's just I know I'm gonna wash the dishes after dinner and then I'm gonna plan out what I'm gonna eat the next day because I work full-time and I have to bring my food with me um, you know and it's it's just not it's not not difficult you just do it um, and the last thing I want to say, um, is about the, the last picture I put up of my refrigerator. I think this is probably one of the most important things to mention because reorganizing your fridge and your pantries can make a huge difference in how you eat. Um, this is actually something that I've just done recently and I've already noticed a huge difference for myself and for my boyfriend. 
um, because putting the veggies like where you can see them makes you a lot more likely to actually eat them. Um, and also taking like just a few extra minutes when you get home, like take the cereal out of the box, you know, put it in little individual baggies or the chips or whatever, you know, crackers, just take those few extra minutes to portion them out and like my random snacking has completely stopped um, and you know that was a big problem that I had was oh you know I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna eat five chips because I feel like having chips and then five turns into 25 and you know and then it's like well crap why did I just do that right so when you have the little baggie you're not just gonna randomly eat one or two here and there you're gonna take your little baggie and that you know and you're gonna eat what's in the bag so those are just some little ways um, to, you know, make your life easier and make eating healthier easier too.